Hello Sobrero fans and welcome to the Just Phantom Comics YouTube channel. So we have some really really sad news depending on how you see it. The Flash is coming to an end after season 9 on the CW. It had a great great run. It lasted from 2014 to 2023 with 9 seasons at the CW. I think the biggest issue with the Arrowverse is that it really really overstated well its welcome. The Flash just got gradually and gradually worse. Just like every other Arrowverse show, Season 9 will only consist of 13 episodes as the Arrowverse officially comes to an end. It lasted from 2012 to 2023 with multiple shows including Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Black Lightning and Batwoman as well as two spin-offs, I would say animated spin-offs like Vixen and Freedom Fighters The Ray. The thing is that Flash coming to an end after 9 seasons isn't a surprise as the, the new Warner Brothers leadership has cancelled multiple shows on the CW including Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, Naomi, among other TV shows as well. But there's still great news for Superman fans as Superman and Lois has been cancelled as that is not a part of the Arrowverse and neither is Stargirl so you can count yourself lucky there. It seems like Superman and Lois is gonna have to move from the CW because right now the Warner Brothers leadership is trying to sell off the CW so something's gonna happen there with Superman and Lois as well as Stargirl which I believe air on both HBO Max and the CW so hopefully they will just move their stuff to HBO Max as they sell off the CW. The Flash season 9 premieres on the CW mid-season in 2023 which means it's gonna come to an end a few weeks before the Flash movie with Ezra Miller so is there something there to it? I, I dare not to speculate because Grant Gustin has been playing the Flash for 9 years and is he gonna be Flash for another other ten years? I, I don't I, I don't see it happening. He he has been looking so tired after all these seasons that <laughs> there's no way he's gonna take on another comic book role like that. I mean, even looking at Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr., he didn't last a lot longer than nine years. I mean, he was from in the MCU from 2008 with the with Iron Man to 2019s. Avengers Endgame. I think playing the same character for 9 seasons or 9 years I should say is a really long time and it can make you tired. I, I, I fully believe that he won't be playing any superhero ever again. But going back to how the, the Arrowverse declined, specifically The Flash. The Flash debuted back in 2014 to huge ratings. Season 1 averaged around 4.62 million viewers, which diminished extensively as season 8 averaged less than 1 million viewers. However, it is reported that the series got a lot of views through streaming, but those that's a significant drop. But that just so shows you that the Arrowverse writers cannot sustain a good show for more than about 4 seasons. Arrow had a great season 1 and season 2, then it kinda, kinda diminished in season 3 and 4 and I believe 5 is where it started to get good again and this is in season 6 was really really good and then we have season 7 and 8 I believe season 7 was with Emiko Queen I know a lot of people didn't like her but I really liked her and I thought that was a pretty good season and then we have the last season obviously season 8 which was a great send off in my opinion and the same with The Flash The Flash season 1 was amazing and season 2 was maybe even better and then the same happened there but 10 years i can't believe they managed to get an entire dc universe on budget television for 10 years i mean arrow got eight seasons the flash is getting nine seasons supergirl is getting or has gotten six seasons legends of tomorrow got seven seasons black lightning got four seasons and batwoman got three seasons i mean that's huge for television, especially for budget television. But I think the biggest drawback of having the all the series on the CW is that it is budget TV. I think now that we have gotten so many Marvel shows that have been quality. I mean, I haven't seen any of the Marvel shows, but I know that they have been looking really, really good. They haven't been looking like they have been shot by a 12 year old that just picked up a camera. So I think that Warner Brothers want more quality cinematic looking shows like we have 
with Stargirl, and Pennyworth, and Peacemaker. Basically, all the HBO Max shows look so much better than the CW shows. Doom Patrol as well. I mean, even if Doom Patrol isn't the most cinematic show in the world, it's really, really fun and well written, unlike most of the Arrowers in the latter half of their seasons. Now, I vividly remember coming home after school and, you know, being so anticipated for The Flash and The Arrow to come on TV. I mean, it ran from, what was it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Every week was Arrow Week, so we don't really have that anymore, being anticipated for a new episode. But I remember, <laughs> that was the highlight of, 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 of my life right there. Getting home from school and then watching Arrow or The Flash or Legends of Tomorrow. I, I stopped watching The Flash in, I don't know, season... Was it season 6? Right, I think I stopped after after the Tinker season, if I do remember correctly. And then I tuned in to, to the last crossover event, event with Crisis. But I did watch Arrow all the way through. I never watched Supergirl besides the crossovers. And the Legends of Tomorrow I also watched the entire way through. And I really liked Legends of Tomorrow. Black Lightning I watched up until season 3. And then Batwoman, I haven't watched either. None of it. Well, I did watch one episode, but that was with the new Batwoman, Ryan Wilder, I believe. As per THR, rumors were that originally the plan was for The Flash to end with season 8, but the CW and Warner Brothers managed to sign Grant Gustin and Candace Patton for a new deal for one more season, and then the season 8 finale was revoked to accommodate the changes. One strange thing about Warner Brothers and CW cancelling all of their shows is that Gotham Knights, the TV series, is going ahead for some reason and people are not happy with that show. I mean, that show does not look great. Not, 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 I'm not saying it doesn't look great. I'm saying what other people are saying. Apparently, there was a trailer released that I have not seen. It debuted on the internet May 31st. And I have not seen that trailer, and that's such a long time ago, I, I can't believe I haven't seen that trailer. It is set to premiere in 2023, and I cannot believe that they're cancelling all their shows, and then they greenlit this show. It does make sense that it's gonna be on the CW, and it, it is CW quality, it is not HBO Max quality. But yeah, that has been it, the Arrowverse is officially dead, come to an end in 2023, with the conclusion of... The Flash after 9 seasons, yes 9 seasons it lasted, a great achievement for something that was on TV and I'll never forget those crossovers. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button to see more and get more news. I've been Josh Phantom Comics and I'll see you later, thank you for watching.